Capricorn, the Alpha and the Omega, the big boss. I've heard people call Aries the baby boss. So Capricorn would be the big boss, right? <laughs> Let's get into your messages. Welcome back to Emperor's Light Tarot. It's me, Tony. Back with your channel tarot messages for today. Let's see what you need to know in regards to the matters of the heart. Love and romance messages, right? We also have a Capricorn playlist on the channel as well. If you want to see more Capricorn readings, right? Subscribe to the channel if you see uh, if you like what you see here. We're trying to get to our six hundred. I'm sure Capricorn likes to, you know, entrepreneur likes to see their way to the top of the mountain. Yeah, to the top of the world, <laughs> the higher font, entrepreneur. Help us get to our 600 subscriber mark. Let's get into it. What, we get, uh, what messages can spirit relate through the cardomancy? All right, messages for Capricorn, our first time. Love, romance. The heart. All right. The fool, Aries, major arcana, the fool coming towards you. Okay, so an adventure. Someone uh, that appears very foolish. This could be a comedian or someone that has a lot of faith here. This could also be a shaman. Very physically attractive individual. Resilience. I swear these two cards always come out together. <laughs> Maybe someone has been... Well, this could be someone in the subscribers that likes these readings here. The devil card. You showing up in your reading. <laughs> so you could have an obsession with looking good or working out, possibly. Maybe starting new adventures or something like that. Mm, I hope this isn't a player. The lovers. Ooh, yeah. Silver tongue devil, a player, possibly. Mm -hmm. The person that's coming towards you, the devil and the lovers. Resilience, obsession, and decisions. Yeah, this person has a lot of this. this yeah. This person, <laughs> and again, watch it. Be safe when it comes to sex here. The lovers typically appears naked. The devil is um, indicative of karmic uh, energies here. So the seven of wands is protection and being defensive. So yeah, make sure you're using protection. The two of swords, crossroads, indecision. Yeah, someone doesn't know what... what, what so this is supposed to be... <laughs> Decisions, choice, yes or no. But someone can't make a choice here, right? I'm not sure if this is a young person or an older person that's coming towards you. They have their pick it or litter, right? So it's almost like they're saying, why should I have to choose? Or this could be um, uh, I always get that forget that phrase. They can't make a decision here. The Wheel of Fortune, Wish Fulfillment. Yeah, it, they feel like they're on the top of the world at this time. They feel like they feel very lucky. They possibly feel like they can do no wrong. I mean, hmm. Well, the devil would be a contract, and this is marriage here. So, hmm. This person may be looking at you. This could be FOMO, the fear of missing out, because I can't remember what that word is. What's under the fool? The Knight of Wands. So yeah, sexual in the windows. So this could be uh, someone that's coming towards you. That may be karmic. Now, there's two ways this message is coming in, and I'm not sure which is which. And it could be both. Take it how it resonates. This person is getting, this person is, this person is marrying just so that they can have sex. Or once this person gets married, they're going to have a bunch of sex, right? So, I mean, this person could be very resilient, aka holding back, very defensive, 
right? Protective against people who they feel they want to be in a relationship with, right? So again, this could be like a single person that's like next, 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 next until they get what they want. And when they finally get the person that they want, oh, buddy, they finna let that passion out. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I'm getting. So that was a quick reading. We have the devil, the lover. This could be a Capricorn or a air sign, Gemini. This could be marriage possibly as well coming towards you. This could be luck and abundance. Capricorns tend to be hard workers. So, you know, if this is a woman watching this, you know, you provide him with what he wants, right? The sex or the woman to be his muse or whatever the case may be. He's definitely going to provide a home for you. This is what Capricorns strive for, right? They want to be successful in all things, a good career. They want to be successful at marriage, right? They want good sex, right? They're very karmic and carnal. And then, yeah, this is the abundance. This is the jackpot, wish fulfillment, right? Now you just have to make sure communication that this there's a lot of communication going on because this person is like a they're a breadwinner but they're also a trophy chaser is what I'm getting. <laughs> so again, don't think just because you got the marriage ring, man or woman, that you get that that's the end of the road. People don't realize that once you get married, that is actually the start of a true genuine relationship, right? So that is what I have for you guys today, Capricorn. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the reading, All right? someone coming in matching your vibe possibly maybe another capricorn um but yeah with gemini uh multiple personalities as well this can be someone mirroring you right possibly a, this may be two bosses <laughs> someone's gonna have to take the subordinate seat here in order to make this relationship work right we need a boss and we need an assistant right mm -hmm. all right catch you guys on the next one peace